whenever, whatever. Start it. So we I are don't. starting. Hey, it's it's the the update for December, folks. Where there's no preamble this time. We're getting right into it. You know why? Because it's January. It's January. It's New Year. New resolutions. Just like Evo has sequestered himself in his house now, and he's never leaving. So we're doing this in two locations. As I punch my mic. Yes, I am currently in the Arctic. Well, we're both in the Arctic. Cause how about that weather out there, Evo? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cold. I kind of like it though, honestly. This morning it was minus seventeen. I'm gonna probably have to go out and warm my car up at some point today. Yeah, you know, at some point Fahrenheit and Celsius do match, and I think it's at forty below. I think it's below. around no, yeah, forty or thirty-five. I think it's forty below. But yeah. I kind of, I kind of like this weather. It's a really dumb reason because I'm like, if I hang out in this weather long enough, it will kill me. And for some reason, I'm like, I'd like to experience it for a little bit, then I'll go inside. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. I just don't like weather that hurts. <laughs> well, I hate mugginess. You know, I'm outside with the, I got to take care of the chickens, and uh, it just sucks in the morning. Well, you got to give them new water because the uh, old water is frozen. Do you add anything to the water so it doesn't freeze, or you just hope they drink no, it in time? No, I, I just, I give them warm water, and they drink it. And Can chickens get frostbite? Yes, on their combs. The combs? Yeah. So here's how I have it. I put a tarp around the chicken coop, and yeah. then my father-in-law, he gave me these, uh, it's like um, insulation foam. Yeah, yeah. And I put it behind the uh, the tarp, so, so it kind of holds it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So then, and I also put that, f when I close them up in the front at night, I uh, have this rectangle of a, the foam insulation i just stick it there it actually just stays there so so like instead of 17 below it's what seven below well they also have a heating pad in there okay like that, in that helps infrared heat so it's not mm -hmm. it's not a heat lamp you know yeah so it I, doesn't... They, 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 I had one i think for my lizard at some point you know what those yeah. things are yeah so i mean they're okay uh, chickens are good till like zero um but anything below zero, like they're not even out now. They don't even want to go outside. Yeah, I, I can imagine they probably. I don't think anything wants to go outside right now. Yeah. But hey, that's that's winter, folks. Yeah. Um, the Arctic. Well, that's that's Evo's chicken issue so far. I have an issue, Evo. That's really dumb and pedantic, but I need to complain about it. Yeah, it's your mic. Huh? You're at at. Ac, ac, oh no, that's another thing. Actually, I was oh, okay. I was going to complain about something dumb before that. But yes, my quality is kind of crappy, but we'll get into that actually when we go into the uh, next month, which is later on. But before that, Evo, I, I ran into an issue I didn't think was going to be an issue. And uh, for a birthday gift, my uh, parents, one of the things they gave me was a giant container of trail mix. And, okay. and stick with me, this is, this is going somewhere. Right. And you never really think about this in trail mix in large containers. Because it's not an issue, like, because usually when you buy it from a vending machine, it's like its own little, like, serving packet. You don't need to, like, take anything out. You can kind of just pour it into your mouth and chew and then pour a little bit more and so on and so forth, right? Correct. Okay, so the issue I have now is when you get into, like, beer containers with it, you can to it's total bullshit. Because, number one, there there's a lot of filler in there. And what I mean by that is there's probably, if, if I did a ratio, it's like 75% sunflower seeds to anything else. Yeah, because they're cheap, right? Yeah, it, it's just like shitty ass filler. It's it's going into it. There's also another problem I have of like, how do I eat this? Because okay. I could be a fat piece of shit and just pour it into my mouth and just have seeds go everywhere. But the container, like the 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 mouth for it, is way too big, so it'll go yeah. everywhere. And then uh -huh. the other issue of I have is if I use my hands, is there a proper way to grab everything? Because if I grabbed it and then like, do I scoop it? Do I throw it in my mouth? Do I pour it in my mouth? No way me grabbing it actually makes it look like I'm not a disgusting human being when I'm trying to eat it. Yeah. Okay. So then the other thing is like, do I eat it with a spoon? Cause then no one else is going to eat it. Cause I'm putting the spoon in my mouth. There's just no easy way to eat trail mix this way. And I'm very mad about what it. What if You pour it in a bowl and then you eat it with a spoon. But then have you ever seen anybody eat trail mix with a spoon, let alone in a bowl? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. This is a really, it's dumb. And I just, because there's sunflower seeds that just get everywhere because I can't find a, a, a uh, 
proper way to eat it. This is a really dumb issue I have, but you never really run into these things unless people give you giant containers of trail mix. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's about the right answer to have for my issue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know what my issue is? What? I, I, uh, I went to Costco yesterday and I bought those um, pretzels with the peanut butter in the middle. The disgusting fucking things? Yes, go ahead. No, it's delicious. No, they're gross. And, you know, you get that big container of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I've probably ate almost half of it since yesterday. Well, that's not a problem, really. I mean, you, you well, go into yeah. Costco knowing that this is going to happen. Because it'll give you love handles. Well, then you just don't buy them at Costco. You don't buy them at all is the problem. Because Costco is the biggest enabler when it comes to snacks like that. Oh, yeah. Because it's just a big container, and you're just sitting there eating it, and then... 45 minutes later, you realize the entire container's gone, and you dare not look at the uh, nutrition facts. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was uh, like 140 <laughs> calories for eight pieces. <laughs> yeah. So, well, that, math. <laughs> it's good insulation for all this cold weather, I guess. But I guess, yeah. Um, other than us complaining about stupid shit, has there really been anything else you wanted, that's happened to you in the past month or so? I mean, we had Christmas, we had New Year's. Did all those things go well for you, Evo? Yes, those they were nice, lovely. Were they? Uh, yeah. yeah, it was fine. Um, the one thing I am disappointed with is my car. Uh oh, decided to blow up. Yeah, we just yeah, talked just know. talked about this last week with Evo getting a new car. Yes, he was all excited. One month yep. later, what happened? Uh, I was driving down the road and all the lights turned on and. Um, it just shut off. It was like you're driving at like 45 miles an hour and it just said, like no, I'm done. Well, st years. you're still in motion when it's happening, right? Right, right. Yeah. Well, luckily it wasn't like I was pulling out in a busy intersection. Yeah. You know, because um, that could have went south pretty That quickly. That had its own issues, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I got a uh, 2012 Hyundai Sonata. Mm -hmm. And apparently there was a recall on them um i don't know when the, when the recall happened but yeah before um, you before you had the car it happened yeah so it's the uh hyundai has a manufacturing plant in alabama so those um those models built there that year mm -hmm. have issues where they left um metal shavings in the oil i guess nice. area or, or in the motor i guess so what happens is um it will restrict the flow of oil in the engine and you know especially when it's really really cold like it is right like now yes like it's been the oil gets even thicker so what you know it's just everything the cold the uh it becomes a, 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 a nasty issue. shaving slurry that's in your yeah. engine, and that's not yeah. good. And the engine just seized. Nice. Yeah, so I think in, it's, I'm pretty sure it's that, and it's going to need a new engine. Oh, that's that's wonderful, Evo. Yeah. yeah. But, that's, well, let that be a lesson to everybody out there. Don't buy a car. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just walk everywhere, and then the only thing that can stop you is cancer or other cars running into you. Right. Well, hopefully next time, uh, next month, when we have another update, it'll be like, no, my car's fixed now. I won a million dollars, and there's no yeah. problems now. Well, uh, right now it's in the process of hopefully Hyundai will pay for it. And yeah. Put in a new engine since. It kind of happened before you owned the car, so it really was out of your control. Right, right. But they extended the warranty for the engine. Yeah. On the, um, so the, I'm, I'm hoping that it works out. <laughs> I am too, because it's just a giant ball ache is a really low, like, soft way of putting it, I guess, because it's yeah. a brand new car. You just bought the fucking thing, so. Yeah, yeah, a month and a half ago, exactly. Ugh. It's one yeah. of the biggest issues, anxieties I have if I buy a new car that I happen to get a car where just everything bad can happen to it will, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to really cross your I's and whatever T's. Cross your, know. it's dot your I's and cross your T's. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> You really got to hope. It's You can do all the homework you can, but it can just happen to be, oh, I got a shitty car, and now I'm fucked. Yeah, of course, that can happen to anyone. But you can definitely do your homework and, you know. Yeah. 
um, lesson. Lesson learned, no. folks. Learn yeah. from others' mistakes. Lesson That's why I pack. say don't buy a car. Yeah. yeah, don't buy a car. So that's all the complainings we have so far. Um, anything else as far as the past month or so you want to talk about? Any games? Anything else you did? Uh, Rainbow Six. Yes, Rainbow Six, Rainbow which Six. this is coming out on Friday, right? That's the 12th. Is it? I'll I think so. Yep. Yeah, so this um, will come out after we've already played a couple of episodes of Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah, we, the Steam sale happened is what happened, actually. And oh, the, yeah, right. the game came out. It was 9 bucks at the time, and both of us thought, you know what, we'll give it a shot. And we're going to run into the issue of playing a popular game two years after it came out. We're fucking terrible, and everyone else is way better. Yeah, but there, we have our moments. Everyone can have their moment. It's just every time that you're not having your moment, you're like 0-4. <laughs> You don't kill anybody. You're just like, oh, I guess I could die from some weird angle I never thought could happen. So, yeah. but the game's fun, isn't it? Do you do you enjoy it? Oh yeah, it's a fun game. Okay, so you, yeah. you'll hopefully that comes across in the videos we're going to be doing for that. But did you pick up anything else in the Steam sale? No, I did not. No, I picked up one or two other things. I can't remember what they are, but we'll we'll be doing something on those soon. Wonderful. Um. That's it as far as... Well, what else did I do for... Uh, well, I played Slay the Spire, which is pretty fun. It's a weird, weird-ass card game that... Um, there's a couple of videos up for it now on the site. Or on the channel, okay. excuse me, however you want to call it. And I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm really bad at it again, but you know, I just got the game. I'm going to learn how to play it. More GeoGuessers happening. Uh, Hollow Knight, been playing that. That's you, you take any break from that game, and you get your ass kicked for at least a half hour to an hour when you get back into playing it. Really? It, but it's fun, though. Um, but that's really it as far as games probably we both played, right? You didn't do anything else? No. All right, so that no. jumps us right into the top five videos we had for... Uh, last month and can 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 you guess at all what those are evo what the top top five There's are so many videos greg's greg's <laughs> yes i'm pluralized now <laughs> that that foreign accent of yours is just coming through <laughs> um no we put out so many videos that um it's hard it's just a giant vomit of yeah exactly. videos that came out and we can't just you know but but guess what i can you in the past, the past 30 days, and Brandon, we're doing this the Sunday before the 12th, so it might be a little off by the time we get to actually the 12th, but the top five videos, they're all GeoGuessr videos. You've got episode okay. 20, uh, then 11, 18, 21, then 10. Um, I couldn't tell you what specifically happened in any of them, but again, for another couple... Well, I can couple, tell you one thing. What's that? things happen in them there's lots of things happened in them i guessed a lot a lot of the times i was bad uh this week that's coming out i played amazingly well i guessed a lot of geolocations oh nice very closely very closely huh? yes and it is this will be coming out after all the videos for the week are and i got the highest scores i've ever gotten so i'm pretty i'm pretty happy about that there should be like a tournament I'm sure there's going to be a thing. There there might be some sort of contest. I don't know. But it's fairly easy to cheat in that game, too. So Yeah, that's true. You can just put Google in the other. Right, yeah. 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 But um, that's not the reason I play the game. It's, it's, it's good mental exercise. So if I ever get kidnapped somewhere and I get thrown out of a van or in the middle of nowhere, I'll know where I am. Yeah. It's like I'm in fucking Russia, and now I'm fucked. That's, that's just how it works. Um, I want to do a special shout out though, because it didn't actually end up making it that that Blaze Blue video we did. We we had a couple of fans from at least Tajikistan of all places that that really seemed to like us playing that game. Really? Yeah, I thought it was just a really random place that that popped up, and maybe we'll come back to it again because you, I don't think, said the word bosom enough. Huh, bosoms. I like bosoms. Bosoms. It's pretty much bosom the game, I guess. <laughs> but uh, after videos, we'll go straight into the countries as we always do. Hit it. And 
So you want me to go five to one, or do you want me to just go one to five? Yeah. Five, to, five one. to one. Number yeah. five, Sweden. Coming up, number five. Well, I already said it. It's Sweden. Okay. <laughs> number four was uh, uh, Canada. Number four. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you say them because you say it with more panache than I do. Okay. So go next. Number four. I already said that one is Canada. Number three. Well, now fuck you if you're not going to (laughs) fucking just fucking take the piss, why don't you? U.S. was number three. Number two was... China. No, Finland. China. 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 No, I like how... Trump says China. China. Ch- China. Oh, no. China. C H A Y. Yeah. China. <laughs> Finland was number two. And then number one for the second straight month in a row was the United Kingdom. Ooh. So hail Britannia and all that fun stuff. We'll go to the top five states in the U.S. Uh, number five is California. Number four, uh, Minnesota. Number three, Ohio. <laughs> Whenever I hear Minnesota, I just hear my pillow. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is my pillow? My pillow? You have to explain Came, this. Uh, okay, so I don't my, know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, you never saw the commercial for my pillow. It's, I, a, it's this guy with a mustache. He created my pillow. He has a factory in Minnesota, somewhere in Minnesota. I'm gonna and, have. Um, to, I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna look this up. Yes, and um, give me a um, sec. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if this this might pop up on the screen. If okay, it does, go I'll ahead. To, I'm gonna go to YouTube right now, and I'm gonna look up my pillow. My pillow, <laughs> my pillow commercial. Look, it only took me. Oh, this guy's this guy's a look. He's trying to kill somebody. Jesus, it looks like a two minute video for my pillow. All right, so. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell. No, I don't want. I gotta. I gotta mute it because it, it it can't come through the thing. Just give me a sec. I'm gonna mute this. I'm gonna listen to it and try to narrate it as it goes. This guy is kind of creepy looking. He looks like the principal from the Ferris Bueller Day Off. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm I'm having a conversation with you, but you're not coming through in the audio. So this is really dumb. Uh, I just uh, muted the video. Yeah, that's a weird ass looking dude. Yeah. Fuck. Well, that's where my pillow is. My pillow. Minnesota. Yeah, that was number four. Okay. Number three was Ohio. Um, uh, number two. I, I, I don't know, what do people from Ohio sound like? What's their accent? Uh, pretty much. I think every state kind of has one. I just don't know it. You've been to Minnesota. I mean, I've been to Ohio, Ohio. Yes, but the people I talk to. I don't think they were from there originally, so they never really, I never really picked up an accent on anybody. Yeah. It might be just nuanced enough, or maybe they say crayon or crown instead of. What do you think of Ohio? I went there in the summer. It was very muggy. I hate that. And that's the only time. here, too. Yeah, but it it gets like in central, southern, like north, southern US, that kind of region, the Midwest. It tends to get more humid more days than it does up here. So Okay. I see. Yeah, but um Ohio is okay. They had a lot more golf courses than we do here, but maybe they are just also a bigger state. They are there's a lot more people that live there. Yeah. Uh the number two was Illinois. Illinois. Okay. And then number one was Vermont. Oh, Vermont. Yes, fantastic. So that's the top videos and countries who have seen our shit in the past month. Thank you all for doing your part and watching our terrible videos. We do appreciate it and enjoy it. Evo, he not so much. He he doesn't give a shit. I watch him once in a while. He'll just say, I'll my watch pillow, and then just <laughs> go to sleep. So we'll, we're going to talk about uh, what's happened in the past uh, month. And I did a quick mention of the Slave of Spire. That's another bunch of videos I'm at least going to be doing for a while while I still find the game fun. Um, GeoGuessr happened. That's still continuing. Um, the versus games, we played Blaze Blue. We played uh, Blades of Steel. Um, Blades of Steel. We never actually got into a fight like we should have playing that game. 
I mean, we yelled at each other and got super frustrated that our goalie controlling goalies was terrible. Yep. But when you're limited to two buttons, that's all you really can do in those type of games. Yeah. Yeah. It was, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do a quick mention of, uh, I mentioned it once on a GeoGuessr video not too long ago where I was talking about a ton of videos came out one day. It was just kind of like a deluge. Like that one day we did, um, player unknowns battleground when it first came out, uh, bunch of other shit came out at the same time and it just kind of felt like there was a bunch thrown at the wall at once and i kind of would rather just kind of set more of a schedule yes we're doing the monday tuesday wednesday but i think it's going to start branching out into having maybe one video a day all week because it's just working out that way right now with i still like doing geoguessr i like doing slay the spire we're we like doing the shit we do there's the twitch vods that are going to be going up at the end of the week after I've been streaming earlier that week. So it's going to start ramping up with more videos than there normally had been in the past, what is it, nine months? Yeah, yeah some, we, something we, like we that. We started in March, yeah. Um, So that was just a bunch that came out at once, and I'm like, wow, there's a lot of shit being thrown here. But that was just not being used to having that much stuff out. So that's going to be better well-regulated, I guess, in the future. Um, But for now, maybe... We're going to have, excuse me, one every day, one a day, or maybe six days a week, something like that. I don't know. A lot of games out there, I like playing them. And sometimes I like playing with you, Evo. Wonderful. I know. Uh, what else do we got to talk about? Um, Wolfenstein is on hiatus, at least for now, maybe for a while longer. Um, Passport 2, again, that'll be coming soon. I don't know when I'm going to actually have a window to play it, but it's still in my mind. Um, and I want to talk about, we did mention before about the microphone. Jesus fucking Christ, new microphone issues. So, as I mentioned, I think it was either last month about getting a new microphone. I finally got one. And just like Evo had issues with his car, I have another issue, but it doesn't cost anywhere near as much as his does. I got a uh, AT2020. And uh, I went to go just hook it up to my computer and get it to work. And it turns out, nope, not working. So I'm like, oh, this is weird. So I'm just going to search Google to see if I can't find out what the issue is. And it turns out that apparently since Windows 8, I think it was, Windows has just completely fucked any sort of microphone. You just plug straight in your computer. It doesn't work. They have no idea what happened. They have no idea how to fix it. But it's just a known issue, and you got to deal with it. So, after um, finding that issue out, I had to find, like, uh, I forget what it's actually called. What's the fancy word for it? I keep forgetting it. Sound card? Yeah, basically a sound card. It's, uh, it's a USB I, sound card. Scarlet 2i2 is what I bought, because I guess directly connecting a microphone to your PC doesn't work. It needs to have some sort of thing interface between it. Now. What? What generation did you buy? It was the second gen. I mean, it says it on the box. I don't know. So I got that, and actually I got it last week, and I plugged all the stuff up, plugged my microphone into the thing. The microphone is recognized by the Scarlet thing, but the PC, no. Following the steps they had online, still can't get it to work, so now I've sent in like customer support help trying to get this stupid mic to work. Because once it does... I'll have a mic in my place. This mic I'm talking on now goes back to Evo, and then Evo doesn't sound like he's talking on a headset like he is. Correct. But hopefully by next month, this will either be resolved or I've just wasted a bunch of money on some microphone stuff, and I'll just have to buy my own Yeti Blue mic. I don't know. I think you'll figure it out. Technology is dumb, Evo. This is where I, I turn mean, into an old person and say, why can't things just work? People have are using the setup you have so obviously yeah there's a way of doing it it's just yeah. as long as so, it, i try to install something there. and it turns out hey i've just deleted my registry edit now my computer doesn't work right but um mic issues is there anything else um well since the last year happened we're now in 2018 if you haven't realized it yet is there anything you want to mention at least in the past year that was worth noting here is like maybe not your game of the year but something you enjoyed playing something i enjoyed playing um even if you want to talk about what we did in the past year calendar year 
Well, I mean, it kind of pertains to that, but I just heard that um, Witcher 3 for the Xbox One X yes. is patching up, or uh, is it CD Projekt? Red? Yeah, CD Projekt. They're Polish. So. Projekt. Uh, Red are patching up their... Uh, first, they're doing Xbox One X. Are they doing like 4K stuff? Uh, HDR. Okay, yeah. So they did, uh, you know, they did the upgrade for the graphics for the PS4 Pro. Mm-hmm. And obviously for the Xbox um, One X. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, yeah, like checkerboarding 4K, maybe. Whatever right that, now. whatever that text. Yeah, the upscaled 4K. Yeah. So you, those patches are out for the PS4 Pro and the uh, new Xbox One X. But uh, I just heard today that uh, I think they put one out, another update for the Xbox to enable HDR. Cool. And they're working on the PlayStation 4 Pro. So uh, they, so so a good game memory of the past year you have is a patch that's coming out for a system you have. Well, I played that game and um, okay. Actually, you know, I've been kind of holding off to playing that because they keep like patching it up making it up to date with like today's technology so i'm kind of glad i didn't like dive deep into it so now now you're going to start doing that that all this stuff has been added to it I'm play more of it yeah because once they put the uh hdr uh patch out then yeah I'll start playing it because you'll definitely get, you'll it. definitely get your uh, money's worth out of that oh for sure yeah it's, it's a great game very much so anything else um no uh that our our own work has left that much of an indelible mark in your mind yes that that that's promising (laughs) um okay go ahead well anything the only thing i could really mention is hitman was a lot of fun if you remember doing that i do remember hitman was fun very dumb stuff Mm -hmm. um can't really picture... Well, sending that guy in the uh, jet seat out into the fucking space through the warehouse window was amazing. That was a highlight, yeah. It was, it was a very good tone setter for the rest of the game to play, because that was right in the beginning of it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, eventually... I mean, you know, eventually they'll put the game of the year... Well, on. they're they're coming season two out. They actually did a a, a recent update for, it and they added more stuff to that game. So maybe right, we that's should what go the game of the year. But I'm just waiting for it till it goes on sale, really mm. cheap, and that's you know. Yeah, we should we should come I back think to it, that. there's like a couple more missions, right? I think so. Yes, there's a whole other storyline now, and it goes through all the other maps that already we already played. And they've actually updated graphics, made better skyboxes, stuff like that in the game now. So. Definitely worth checking out if you've not if not done so. Correct. But yeah, so we're actually probably gonna talk more about the past year when it actually has been our own year of playing games, which is gonna be in March. So I guess look forward to that then. Um now as far as the next month, I might be changing either doing more streaming or maybe changing the hours or the days, but um, the past couple of weeks, because of all the holidays, there really hasn't been much in the way of streaming, but that's going to come back at some point. Evo might actually stream himself. I don't know. I can't, I can't read into Evo's mind at all. So wah, 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 wah. I'm trying, but I think we're going to end up like getting a hernia if I do, uh, next month, I hope to have the mic figured out. We're probably going to do more Bert versus games. Maybe go back to blaze blue. There's a bunch of other games that I have that we can actually do shit on. Um, uh, more retro stuff. We got a bunch of old Nintendo shit to fuck around with for a while. That's all stuff that's going to be coming up. Retro and, arcade. Yes, whatever you want to call it. And then, um, I might be doing, looking at some other people to do the challenge on Guess or with some other YouTube channels. I don't know. It's something I haven't actually looked completely into yet, but I probably will soon. Maybe do a week of that, see how that turns out. Or I can always challenge Evo again to see if he can uh, beat me straight I up. Will, I will break you. Well, let's see if you can. But um, yeah, that's been that. That's the uh, 
statement update for uh, December, folks. Hope you enjoyed yes. it. They won't. Uh, well, not with that attitude, Evo. <laughs> But right. for but for both of us here, I'd like to thank you all for either listening, watching, subscribing, engaging with our content. And if you did enjoy it, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, all that information is below the video here. Um, and until next month or next video for Peace. Evo, this is Greg. We'll 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 see you guys soon. Peace out. My pillow.